The Battle for Trust Part 6. I love how long this saga is, this arc. I love how this guy's face is perpetually in a shocked expression. <laughs> what I like about that short scene is that it's surprisingly honest, and I like Marco's response to that, telling him, like, dude, we get it, we're all there, you know? Like, it's sort of a pitiful emotion, but it's also a natural emotion, because I'm pretty sure a lot of them are relieved to be alive, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them are relieved it wasn't them. And it's cool that as comrades, they can kind of understand that, and also not judge it. Like, everybody has these dark and terrible thoughts at times, and I feel like the initial reaction from others, if we speak it out loud, and even just from ourselves internally, is like, that's terrible, you're a horrible person. But I feel like the thoughts themselves are not really an issue. You know, thoughts are just thoughts, they happen spontaneously. It's sort of more important what you do with it. And so I like that Marco acknowledged that, and then, like, encouraged him to do the right thing, because I think that's what matters. Like, action is more important than thought and emotion, because that's more directly in control. That's the shot firing at Eren. Look, a giant titan skeleton with Mikasa and Armin inside. Oh yeah, they can just like fly around and investigate. Brace yourself for what you're about to see. Now what? This guy needs some rest. Look at those bags. It does look really cool. I like how it's sort of half-formed, like, he doesn't really quite know how to do it yet. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for Armin and Mikasa in this situation. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Captain Wellman, go get some rest. <laughs> so Eren is inside, right? Like, he didn't actually become the Titan. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of piloting it. <laughs> you tell me. Mikasa's always so cool. Yes. Yeah, he's like I'm sure he had his reasons. ここを離れる。どこにどうやって。とりあえずどこでもいい。そこから壁を越えて地下室を目指せ。もう一度巨人になってからな。無意識に砲弾を防ぐことだけを考えた。何ヌルバイトヒンド。それ以上の機能も持
3人が揃うこともないだろう。Poor Armin, he just gets in his head so much. This comes up in a lot of shows with this idea of I'm worthless and I never did anything for anybody, which is 100% false just looking at their relationship. The reason Eren and Mikasa are willing to risk their necks for Armin and the reason they care about him at all is because they love him and he obviously does as much for them as they do for him. It's just that he's thinking about it in terms of like physical strength and saving them, which is just not his strongest suit or hasn't been so far. Even if it is true that Eren and Mikasa only save Armin time and time again, in a way that's a gift to them. Because they're able to be there for him in that way, and that probably makes them really happy because they love him. You know what I mean? That's sort of the counterintuitive thing about it is that getting help from others is actually a gift to the person giving the help as much as it is the person receiving it. Like, I feel best not when my friends do nice things for me, but when I do nice things for my friends. And so he's sort of internalizing this in this very self blaming way, which is just not, not accurate. I feel like Armin's biggest danger is not his perceived weakness, but the fact that he goes so deeply into the most dark thoughts immediately, the most self deprecating vision of himself right away. Like, everything that happens is totally his fault in his mind. Armin, They trust his insight. That's huge trust right there. It's a lot of pressure too though, especially when he's in the middle of worrying about his uselessness. <laughs> I guess 20 seconds has passed. どの行動が正解か当てることができただろう。お前が反念さんを呼んでくれなかったら、俺も三笠も巨人に食われて死んでた。ザルアーミン <laughs> Right. That would be a glorious moment for him to help them. Come on, Armin. I believe in you. <laughs> yes, this is what I like to see. Please do. Yeah, this could be huge. Come on, Wellman. This guy's just mentally exhausted and physically exhausted. <laughs> that trusting look. <laughs> Everyone's like, where is this coming from? Man, he's just locked into this way of thinking. Take a break. <laughs> that is so true. He is really delicate. Nice. Nice. Very satisfying to see Armin have a success. That whole thing I was talking about with him realizing his friends love him happened very quickly, which is good. Although I'm sure they'll be back and forth on that. It's really satisfying because that's what you want to see. Because I think in that moment, he's primed for defeat, for self-defeat. And you could see it having gone the other way too, where he just like buckled under the pressure. Like Aaron asking him to perform, but he's all in his head and him saying, no, 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 I can't do it. But despite of all his doubts, he actually rose to the occasion and... Even though it was ultimately Pixis that, you know, that saved them. That was a big move for Armin. Big moment. Hopefully he can take something away from that. And hopefully Wellman can get some rest. ドットピクシス。彼は<laughs> What a thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
えたいの知れ者たちを声もつけずにあんなところにさあ、リアリンつけつお主は先ほど巨人の力とやらを使えばこの町の奪還も可能だと申したなあれは本当にそう思ったのかそれとも苦し紛れの命乞いか両方、yes. <笑>あの時僕が言おうとしたことは巨人になったエレンがあの大岩を運んで破壊された扉を塞ぐということでした Sit in the sauce pretty hard today. どうでしょうか今の自分にわかることなんてアーミン believes ここにいるみんなとそう変わりがありませんミカス believes <laughs> お主はやるのかやらんのかどっちだ<laughs> Imagine being able to take back the outer ring That'd be amazing You'd never back down before Why now? やりますいややりますあ。And he has so many other good qualities. And he's been a great and loyal friend. And both Eren and Mikasa now have talked about how Armin has helped save them or has helped them significantly in their lives. So it's good to see. And even more satisfying was the fact that he actually took that moment of reflection to turn it around. Like I said, I think more common in, in those moments of like deep. Rumination on how terrible you are as a person is actually a total shutdown. You just sort of spiral downwards and aren't incapable of doing anything. So to see him sort of like hit something solid he could stand on and actually do something nice was really cool to watch. Armin, interestingly, I feel like has some of the most potential as a character just because he, in many ways, seems the healthiest, if that makes sense. Like Eren and Mikasa are really strong, but they're kind of weird. They're kind of off the way they think about things. Eren, obviously, he's sort of rigid in his thinking and he's hyper fixated on his goals, even to his own detriment and maybe possibly in the future to the detriment of others. Mikasa sort of has this one idea that keeps her going, which is protecting Eren. But I think to us, there's probably more to it than that, or there's more there that she could find, or other things she's not thinking about herself that make her great, make her valuable, where her life actually does have meaning. So Eren and Mikasa are both kind of rigid thinkers, I think. Armin is sort of a fluid thinker, and that is something that can be to his detriment because it can go the wrong way where he's thinking about how terrible he is. But I think if properly harnessed, he can be one of the most reasonable people. And hopefully, he can find a place for himself where he can navigate this world successfully in a way where he's productive. And His best qualities come out instead of his worst. I have a lot of hope for him as a person. There's something weird about that. Like, sometimes I feel like people who are in the most distress or have the most tumultuous mind are at the biggest risk, but sometimes have the greatest potential because they're moving, they're creative, they're fluid, they're powerful thinkers, but it has to be harnessed in the right way. Like, I feel like if you fall really deeply initially, but then create a base for yourself, a base for yourself where you're, you know, you find something to rely on, your base ends up being deeper in some ways. It's, it's more tested. It's less superficial than just like, everything's fine. Or like, my goal is to protect Eren. He's gone way, way, way beyond that, hit rock bottom, hit a very deep rock bottom, and then built his way out of it. So I feel like there's a tremendous amount of growth possibility for Armin. And he's one of the most interesting characters to me. So it's good to see him sort of turn a corner a little bit here. And we'll just have to see like how it develops for him. Before the video ends, I gotta give a very special thank you to all my patrons for all the love and support. Special shout out to those who joined the top tier this week. John Wayne, Steven Phillips, Chris Virtue, and Alex Seacox. Thank you to you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thanks to everybody for watching. Love you guys as always. And I'll see you guys next time for the next episode.